Steve here, Shen RC, and I'm with my Kyosho Blizzard. Last time out, you guys seen I was getting glitches towards the end. And I think that the snow was piling in here, and it was getting on my receiver here. So, I didn't coat these with this Corrosion X here. I usually coat it every once in a while. I didn't coat this probably in who knows how many years. It's been a long time. So, I'm going to recoat that with the Corrosion X, and I'll show you how it's done. Ideally, you want to take the receiver boards out and spray them and then put them back in once they drip all off the board and there's not a lot on it. But I'm not going to do that because it's going to be a pain. I'm just going to spray it inside the receivers and I'll show you that next. All right, here's my receivers. This one's an old Novak for my FM radio. And this is the 2.4 stock one in case I want to use the stick transmitter. I have both in here. So what I'm going to do is spray some of this Corrosion X on here. This stuff works awesome for waterproofing. I'll show you really quick how I'm going to do it. Like I said, you don't want to really do it the way I'm doing it now. You want to take them apart and take the boards out. But I ain't going to be able to do that. So I'm just going to spray it in the ports here you can see on this one right here just let it go in there now on this little Novak receiver here I have to take the port plug out stick the pipe down in there Just like that. And give it a spray. Whoa. That should be good enough. Now take the crystal out here. This is an old FM channel 2. I'm just going to spray a little bit down in there. That should be good enough. I'm going to let that sit for a few minutes. And then what I'm going to do is turn the blizzard over the opposite way. So it drips out all these ports and I'll put a napkin inside the chassis. And that's it. And that should keep it waterproof. I'm going to do this V-tail mixer really quick. I'm just going to spray some right down in there. There it is. That's waterproof now. You can see it in there. And that's it guys, that's how you do it. If you want to do it quick and easy. Like I said, I didn't do this in probably who knows how long. You got to look at my old videos when I started putting the FM radio in there. That's when I made it brushless, so it's got to be a few years. So that's why I was probably having that glitching problem. It's probably good to redo this every year or so. And anyhow guys, that's how you use Corrosion X. Just wanted to show you guys. Hit that bell so you don't miss my future videos. Leave me a thumbs up if you can. Comment would be awesome and I appreciate the support as always guys. Shen RC and I'll see you next time.